What's up guys, welcome to A Guide to Wanderlust. Are you thinking about visiting Heidelberg, Germany? Well today I'm going to share with you our experience at the best view in Heidelberg at Philosopher's Way. Heidelberg is an incredible city located in the south of Germany. It has some of the most iconic structures in all of Europe. The city has so much history and so many incredible sites with many of them within a two kilometer radius. With many of these having their own spectacular lookouts, none of them offer the unique perspective like Philosopher's Walk. Beginning in Newheim, this two kilometer walk gives the most stunning views of Old Town, Old Bridge and Heidelberg Castle. Named Philosopher's Way because it used to offer a secluded place for professors and philosophers to go take a walk, enjoy the sights and be alone with their thoughts. To what it is now today, one of the most popular places to visit when you're in Heidelberg. So now let's talk about our experience at Philosopher's Way. During our time in Heidelberg, we stayed in Westad, about two and a half kilometers from Philosopher's Way. For us to get to Philosopher's Way was just a short tram ride to Bismarck Platz. From there, we could walk across the bridge to Newheim and up the path to Philosopher's Way. As you approach Philosopher's Way, you'll notice that the path is quite steep to begin with. Don't worry, this will soon level out as you continue your journey. As you continue to walk up the path, it's not long before you start seeing the spectacular view from behind some of the houses that line the Necker River. A little further up the path, and this is where the view starts to open up, giving you that full panoramic view of Heidelberg. And while the walk has still got a slight incline as you keep going, there are plenty of places to sit down, stop, and enjoy the view. Here you'll be able to see Philosopher's Way Garden, the Vista viewpoint, and a playground for the kids. These serve as an excellent rest point as it can be quite tiring walking that 2.3 kilometers from Newheim all the way to the end. From here, you can either decide to stick around, enjoy the view and let the kids play, or you can continue walking all the way to the end. Once you get to the end, there's a small courtyard under the trees where you can relax from the hot sun. And there's this incredible view with this perfectly placed chair that looks out through this cutout hole in the bushes to Heidelberg Castle. This is the perfect point to have a rest before you head back, which is thankfully downhill. So things to consider if you're heading up to Philosopher's Way. If you have children, make sure that you take a cold drink and some snacks, especially in the warmer weather, because it is quite a long walk. If you like taking photos or videos, make sure your batteries are charged and your memory cards are empty because there is no shortage of photo and video opportunities here. Having been to all the different viewing points in Heidelberg before Philosopher's Way, there is no way that I thought it would be this stunning. But after experiencing it firsthand and almost having my jaw drop the entire 2.3 kilometers, I can't recommend it enough. And I suggest that you make it one of your top things to do when you visit Heidelberg in Germany. So that's our experience at Philosopher's Way. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions, why not comment below and let us know, we'd love to help you. If you're considering taking up full-time family travel like us, why not check out our blog at aguidetowonderlust.com and Instagram at aguidetowonderlust. So thanks for watching guys, I'm Ben from A Guide to Wonderlust. I'll see you next time.